Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, um, wherever you are listening. Uh, thank you for making this part of your day today. My name is Mark Surfling. I'm the engagement manager here for the Americas uh, with Westernocker. And uh, just a couple of quick notes and uh, housekeeping items before we get started here. Uh, we will be recording this webinar uh, for today. Everybody's going to be muted. Uh, during the session, uh, please go ahead and utilize the Q&A section on the right-hand side uh, to post any questions that you might have. Uh, we will definitely have an opportunity to review those questions at the end of the uh, the session, and we'll go ahead and uh, shoot over the presentation for you to review afterwards. Okay, again, my name is Mark Circling. Uh, joining me today and leading uh, today's conversation will be Nicholas Daum, he is a uh, solution architect and senior consultant uh, with Westernocker, specifically uh, within the transportation and logistics uh, practice. And for today, our uh, agenda is going to really consist of uh, taking a look at, again, S4 uh, versus 9.6 and kind of uh, taking a look at some of the comparisons and differences between uh, the two uh, for you. So we'll take a look at the actual application um, and viewing that uh, the S4 uh, platform as a whole and discuss some of the various deployment options as well as uh, a review of really what's coming up here uh, as far as enhancements uh, to the solution in 2020 and beyond. Uh, who is Vestenacher? For those that are not familiar, uh, we are a global consulting firm. Uh, we originally uh, started in Central Europe, as you can imagine. Uh, with respect to the U.S., we've been here for about 20 years. Uh, we operate in 25 different cities in 17 countries globally. But really what we have the unique ability to do is, is in executing um, a global solution for customers that are looking at delivery um, across multiple, uh, multiple regions. And we've got about 600 consultants globally and uh, specific to the, uh, the transportation practice, which we're focusing on today about 100 consultants actually globally, that, globally there um, in that specific practice. Now, specifically within the SAP supply chain, uh, we actually focus on really integrating these processes end to end uh, from really the planning to the execution stage. So here you can kind of see a, a quick view of the applications uh, that are part of what is now the S4 HANA uh, platform or the pro prolific proliferal areas, excuse me, um, that the uh, that the solutions extend. And you can see all of the solutions there within the SAP um, really portfolio uh, that we have the, the capabilities to, uh, to offer our services. Uh, now, as a holistic consulting firm, we really also have the ability to, uh, to provide uh, assistance from very early stages in your evaluation processes from process improvements um, to proof of concepts all the way through uh, the actual execution of a uh, of an implementation and then uh, the services that extend uh, beyond as far as um, application management uh, services and and things as such now today as far as the overview of transportation management Again, uh, we're going to discuss S4 HANA platform and the strategic direction that SAP is taking. We'll outline some of the things that Vesternacher is doing specifically uh, within um, S4 and really enabling customers and going from ECC to S4 and, and all of the, the challenges that, uh, that, that come with, with that. Um, going to discuss the uh, really what SAP is uh, providing uh, in the solution for today's shipper and logistic uh, service providers and the processes involved there. And then lastly, uh, what SAP Investor Knocker can do to help you in leveraging um, your, your current supply chain uh, challenges that you might be facing and how uh, SAP Transportation Management can, su can support those. And now I will hand it over to Nicholas, uh, who will be starting the conversation. and. Uh, Take it away. Thank you very much for the introduction, Mark. Also welcome from my side. I'm Nicholas. I'm hosting this second part from Europe. So hope everybody is fine, especially in these times. 
so before we go uh, into the details of the different functionalities and license models comparing s4 hana tm and 9.6 sidecar solution uh, i'd like to give a brief introduction uh, where we are coming from so historically we differentiate between the supply chain execution platform what you see on the left side right here and the s4 supply chain so the s4 supply chain is an all-in-one solution with one digital core and normally you will get everything you need in just one solution whereas the supply chain execution platform formerly known um, is a more complex solution platform with different modules within the landscape so we see um, the track and trace which is the em the warehouse management the transportation management uh, modules and additionally you could have some gts or crm modules within um, yeah, this landscape so the vision behind the s4 environment was to move away from this multi-system and island landscape towards a uniformly integrated supply chain solution within the S4 environment. If we now look at the development of the individual releases over the years, we see that variants for transportation management have evolved from Eletra in the S4 environment. That means that initially the functionalities are adapted from Eletra into basic shipping. And we will explain a bit more in detail in a minute what are the different variants and the functionalities for each license model. From a technical perspective, Eletra as part of SAP R3 was completely replaced by S4. So all components of Eletra have been mapped into S4 and therefore S4 will be the only core system to manage all TM needs in the future. In the course of further development of basic shipping, what you saw on the left side here, the functionalities were enriched um, in S4 supply chain and in the professional shipping module. Uh, this professional shipping module has now become established in the current release, uh, which is 1909, uh, with the extended functionalities that we already know from SAP TM um, releases such as 9.5 or 9.6 in the sidecar solution of TM NetWaver based. Nevertheless, the overall long-term goal is to replace the Eletra scope, what we see here on the planned long-term side, by the SAP S4 HANA code line and its S4 HANA transportation management, having then the complete scope included um, within one code line. Depending on what your business requirements are, you have different functionalities and licenses you can choose. So we have heard in the previous slide that basic shipping is one setup or one license model in the S4 HANA environment. Furthermore, we have the professional shipping um, with S4 embedded or even decentralized S4. TM, and we have the good old sidecar TM solution, uh, which current release is 9.6. The key message we would like to give you here in this slide is that on your way to your TM implementation, be it 9.6 or S4, the question must be taken into account which functionalities you need for your processes in order to derive which licenses are then required. So the sidecar TM, which is considered as 9.6 and S4 professional shipping embedded or decentralized, containing all options for your transportation management master data uh, relevant setup. So I will focus in the following slides a little bit more on order management and planning. But first of all, um, consider the master data part. So all relevant master data are set up or having these licenses included without a need of additional licenses, especially for professional shipping and sidecar TM. If you now choose or you, we see some limitations for the basic shipping, especially in the scheduled straight lands and resources area, um, this is up to your requirements within your current business. If we now talk 
about order management, the same premise applies to that. For example, a shipper who operates as a forwarder in some of his business areas cannot use forwarding order management uh, with the basic shipping functionality. Uh, therefore, he would have to opt out for the full-blown sidecar or even the professional shipping that contains almost all functionalities um, in the order management area. However, it must be considered that um, yeah, SAP is constantly expanding its scope here, especially in the professional shipping and in the sidecar um, area. For example, the transportation and delivery scheduling will be part of future releases uh, or even the forwarding order integration with S4HANA credit management. Uh. So part of a potential project always would be to compare the business requirement, the needs with the basic and professional shipping functionalities or even the sidecar functionalities um, to get a better overview which license is really required. For the planning um, section within TM, we see that professional shipping and the sidecar TM are 100% the same. The parity is like 99%. Uh, the only difference here between professional shipping and basic shipping is that basic shipping is aiming for really manual creation of shipments, manual carrier selection, and the assignment of the of the demands within your transportation cockpit. Uh, everything what is going beyond that, what you can see right here, for example, 3D visualization, load planning, transportation cockpit, including gun charts and maps, and the VSR optimization is not included uh, in the basic shipping. And if you want to go with this advanced planning functionalities like load planning or gun chart or whatever, um, the license option is really using the professional shipping or the sidecar TM solution. But of course, if you're a small mom and pop shop, um, just having a couple of trucks and manually assigning your transportation demands, there will be no need for a professional advanced shipping uh, license model using 3D or VSR optimization. In conclusion, that means for the comparison uh, between Sidecar 9.6 and S4HANA 1909, uh, both releases provide the same, almost the same features uh, if we compare the full-blown with the professional shipping license for TM. So we have a difference of only around about 5% and you have the choice uh, what is more important for you and your business. The current difference mostly refer to the different UIs and analytical options that S4 currently offers. Uh, for example, gaps such as carrier collaboration using the SAP collaboration portal were closed um, the last months um, on the sub side using the current crate and um, this can now also be used for S4 environment. Um, I have attached you the collaboration portal note if you're interested. So you can use this uh, even in the S4 environment right now. Mm. However, um, yeah, it must still be considered in which strategic direction you are going, um, especially in terms of the LBN and future connections of LBN. Yeah? So the collaboration portal gap can be a, a temporary solution depending on the business of your, of your shipper or LSP. But uh, the strategic direction definitely um, might go into the into the LBN and might be closed then later um, from a from functionality point of view um, in terms of the collaboration portal, the classical one. So now let's take a look at the deployment options and what kind of scenarios we currently have and we currently see at our customer projects. Regardless of which system you're currently using as a customer, you can definitely switch to S4 HANA if you want to. So what we see right here are the most common four scenarios we are currently facing in our projects, which is the classical business suite integration of SAP TM and SAP ERP, um, which is the 
you know, S4 HANA ERP using a SAP TM sidecar solution on bullet number two, um, since 1511 release, I think, side-by-side -side integration of S4 and the classical business suite um, is provided and is working. The third one is uh, a purely S4 HANA system landscape using S4 HANA as EAP system and a decentralized S4 HANA TM system. And the fourth one, which is uh, really common currently uh, for the for the projects and uh, from a customer perspective, is using a NetViva SAP ERP system, a side by side scenario um, with an S4 HANA TM. Yeah. Reason behind that: many customers are not yet converted or not yet on S4 HANA ERP, and the conversion didn't start it, but they still want to try out. Uh, the S4 HANA uh, capabilities and functionalities. So what they currently do, they they decide to go for an, for a smaller scope using S4 HANA TM yeah, to first of all check the integrations and the capabilities how this is working um, in in that kind of system system landscapes. If we come to some technical master data related uh, information, I want to give you. We all know in this scenario that the materials transfer, the customer vendor transfer, uh, transfer, and the the location transfer um, is 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 done by the core interface uh, by SIF, and we all know the TM uh, related uh, objects then creating a product in TM, creating the business partner and the location. If we now have a look. Um, to the deployment option number two, where we use uh, S4 HANA um, as our legacy system for the products, we see that something changed and we have to do uh, a customer vendor integration, uh, which is called CVI nowadays, um, which all um, differentiates then the business partner into customers and vendors. And then we sift over to TM, um, getting the system um, parameters and the objects transferred like the product, business partner, and location. Uh, it's still using uh, the core interface um, technology, which is uh, state of the art, but we will see in a second that um, yeah, with the new uh, landscape using S4 HANA, um, yeah, it differs a little bit and SAP introduced a new technology. So the third scenario is um, an S4 HANA ERP system and the decentralized S4 HANA TM system. And we already see that in here in the middle, um, SIF is now replaced and SAP introduced a data replication framework, um, DRF, which is using web services or even IDOCs to transfer master data uh, from one system to another system. Uh, prerequisite still here is in the S4 HANA ERP box to do a customer vendor integration, a CVI, um, to convert your customer vendor data into business partners. Um, since TM only knows business partners and S4 in general is only using um, business partners right now, um, just differentiating and determining the role using yeah, business partner roles. Yeah. For the products right here, um, the DRF framework is using the Matmas IDOC. Um, if you now raise a question, oh, I got this question on my Q&A panel. Um, do I really need all uh, MM related information to bring into my TM system um, if I just want to use it for transportation purposes? The answer here is no. You can uh, restrict and decrease the, the Matmas IDOC uh, by segments. You can kick some out and um, yeah, ignore MM related data you don't want to use in, in TM. So you don't have to um, really blow up your TM system. Um, since we only want to use um, transportation relevant data. Um, these products are then transferred. I mentioned it uh, using the Matmas IDOC. The business partners are transferred using a web service, the locations as well. What you have to do, you have to set up um, yeah, still your transportation network, yeah, the creation of, of your zones, the creation of your resources, of your calendar resources, uh, etc. What we not know right now, currently facing some uh, gaps, um, how is the DRF framework uh, usually um, yeah, 
used when we have set fields integrated even in products and in, in business partners and locations uh, so that would mean that your web services or idocs even um, has to be enhanced yeah, with the different segments right here the last scenario i want to show you is really common i already mentioned that in the introduction slide Customers not yet on SAP S4 HANA with the ERP system are using the old SAP ERP NetWeaver based uh, yeah, module, but uh, S4 HANA TM on the on the right hand side. So the first kind of implementations using S4 HANA TM were exactly this landscape. Um, the prerequisite still counts right here. You have to convert your customers and vendors into business partners, which is, um, yeah, is, is given as per standard. And then you have to transfer them to S4 HANA TM. Since I mentioned it already, business partners are the, yeah, the only object now in S4 HANA environment. Yeah? You can then uh, determine based on the CVI, which kind of roles are um, maintained for the different business partners. Overall, DRF is used here to transfer materials, business partners and locations. And um, it counts the same as in the slide before. You have to set up this framework. You have to set up the filters and the parameters you want to transfer. You can set up um, the Matmas IDOCs and the segments since you don't need uh, any MM related data in your TM if you want to use TM only for transportation management and then transfer it into your S4 HANA TM box. If we conclude right now and compare an embedded TM in S4 HANA environment with a decentralized TM on S4 HANA or even 9.6 version as a sidecar, we can see that more than 99% of both systems provide the same features and you have the choice right now what is or will be better for your company and your upcoming uh, processes or future processes. To point out some, some highlights in the comparison, um, yeah, some advantages using embedded TM would definitely be a simplified system landscape. This is what is promoted um, all over, that you reduce your data and document redundancies. Whereas in a decentralized TM on S4 or on 9.6, uh, the risk for reduced system downtimes has to be taken into account. Yeah? Furthermore, also the support of multi-client architecture without migration into one box is one of the key, um, key aspects and arguments uh, against an embedded TM right now for some of the customers uh, with multi-language um, multi or multi-client environments. So to compare a little bit the visualization and the enhanced UIs uh, SAP S4 HANA is providing, I have just put down some screenshots from the Fiori Launchpad right here and the native applications SAP is providing already since uh, yeah, 1709, 1809, and now 1909. For example, forwarding orders, freight orders can be created using native Fiori applications. And on the left hand side, all yeah, common business transactions are reachable from the Fiori launchpad. If we compare that with our um, visualization in TM 9.6, yeah, we see this is an excerpt from the transportation cockpit. Um, you see the difference already using S4 HANA, not only in the, in the UI and in the presentation of the screen, also uh, from a performance perspective within the transportation cockpit. Nevertheless, you can use um, yeah, new themes like Belize and so on in 9.6, but um, since they were designed for S4 HANA, it's normally recommended to also use them in the S4 HANA environment especially from a performance point of view. If we now look at the roadmap and SAP's uh, product direction, um, we have to consider that the direction is definitely <laughs> following the focal point about the expiring support uh, of NetViva SCM by 2027. So based on that specific date, uh, which was already expanded from 2025 to 2027, the whole roadmap is built and the whole strategic direction 
um, yeah, will continue to grow and um, yeah, enrich the functionalities. SAP will definitely continue to focus on simplifying the UI and expanding it, especially regarding the wide range of options that are supported by the S4 HANA platform. And here, especially in the analytical area, we all know the embedded analytics functionalities coming um, with S4 HANA. Then furthermore, by integrating the strategic technologies, we will be able to establish an even higher degree of automation in the supply chain with the help of S4 HANA, yeah? be it um, optimization integrated, being IoT integrated and the next generation processes and technologies to go into the predictive and prescriptive direction. I will um, yeah, show the roadmap, what is our current roadmap on that topic in a second. This also leads us to the point that uh, yeah, integration remains one of the driving topics for the further development in 2020 and beyond for S4 HANA TM. So be it in the integration to other modules such as IBP, what we see on the right hand side on the, for the product vision, or in the warehouse areas at the system level or in the area of carrier third party collaboration. Integration is to connect and establish a stable communication also for the track and trace capa uh, capabilities. From our standpoint now, a holistically integrated system using that S4 HANA TM technology as basis for upcoming platforms like a transportation control tower is key in the future. And it might end up on one single supply chain control platform where you operate your daily transports and shipments with one um, yeah, user interface for the different roles within your company and transportation department. If we now look at our current roadmap um, for prescriptive and predictive transportation, we are currently on the edge between the diagnostic and predictive processes or phases. So in order to help then shaping the next evolution, we would say going now from the diagnostic phase into the predictive uh, phase with forecasts and machine learning simulations, etc. Um, we increasingly using the, the, the latest SAP S4 technologies and also um, yeah, the integration technologies like Leonardo IoT um, to be more precise in predictions and about possible events in the supply chain. Let me give you an example right here. For one customer in the, in the United States, we were able to track real-time rail events per rail wagon uh, using a GPS integration and additionally using IoT data from the rail track provider or the network. Yeah. And what we did right here, we were preventing delays and react on that track issues based on the information we gathered from that sensors um, using replanning even before the actual issue occurred. What does that mean? With the help of S4 HANA, we will be able to avoid delays in a transport and reschedule or replan the shipment even before the problem happened. And this is exactly the edge then going from the predictive to the prescriptive phase of supply chain. This is only possible with the help of S4 HANA and the strategic direction and integration um, capabilities SAP offers uh, from 2020 and beyond. There are no further questions on the Q&A panel. I would close the session. Thank you very much for your attendance. Have a great day. And I would just All also right. add, I would just also add Nicholas, uh, for those that, that may not be familiar, um, I would certainly take a look at uh, besternacher.com for any other upcoming uh, webinars that uh, that are on our calendar. There will be several, uh, kind of given the climate right now. I thought it'd be a good opportunity for to educate folks um, on, again, just some of the, the latest uh, advancements within the SAP supply chain. Uh, you're also welcome to uh, to take a look at us uh, via LinkedIn as well. Uh, it's a good uh, good way to, to keep up to date with the latest from Vestenacher. With that, uh, yeah, thank you all. And Enjoy the rest of your week and have a great weekend. Stay safe. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye.